Are we living in a simulation world? Many philosophers and scientists have raised the hypothesis that we might actually be. So, could there be bugs or Easter eggs? Even in a well-crafted world, if it's created by someone, there's a possibility it's not perfect. Just look at movies like The Matrix where there were bugs like the cat passing by twice or Agent Smith breaking free from control. There are actually scientists trying to find such bugs. There's this physicist named Silas Bean, and here's what he argues. If where we live is a virtual reality, even if it runs in an exceptional computer, there would still be limitations or constraints. So, by revealing the mathematical structure used to create the simulation universe, we could find bugs. In his paper, it basically says, when cosmic rays pass through the smallest unit, they're trying to find the rough spots. But to make the observations he wants, it seems a considerable amount of energy is needed. They're still researching it, but so far it hasn't been observed. Many physicists are skeptical about finding the results of this research because it's almost impossible for that level of energy to reach Earth. Now, bugs aside, what about Easter eggs? If you were a developer simulating the universe, could you resist putting Easter eggs in? Maybe somewhere, there are Easter eggs hidden and there might be people trying to find them. But it doesn't seem that easy. While bugs could be evidence, Easter eggs might not be as straightforward. It could lead to occult beliefs, so let's steer clear of that. This channel aims to use scientific facts for scientific reasoning. You've probably heard of Brian Greene, the famous physicist known for his book, Elegant Universe. In one of his books, he seriously suggests that we should think about the possibility of the universe being a simulation. Greene thinks that in the future, we might discover glitches or errors in this cosmic software. He even gets specific, talking about measuring errors caused by the simulation's memory limits. Think of it like this. Imagine a pixelated world. Say a dot moves from 1 pixel to 1.8 pixels, but hey, in reality, there's no such thing as 1.8 pixels, so it gets rounded up to 2 pixels. These tiny errors could add up, and future humans might spot them. Some folks even claim we could prove this simulation theory by overloading the system with too much info, causing a freeze. But honestly, if there's a device running this entire simulated universe, we're probably not advanced enough to overload it yet. And then there are those who argue against this idea. They say there are already mechanisms in place in the simulation universe to prevent overloads. Like black holes. Why are we suddenly diving into black holes? Well, it's kind of like a conspiracy theory, but here's what they're saying. We can't see inside a black hole, right? And guess what? Nothing inside can go out either. It's like there's this event horizon around a black hole where information can't escape. So, when a black hole slurps up something, we basically lose track of that info in our universe. It's almost like pooling resources into one spot, you know? But frankly, this is some next-level conspiracy stuff. That's how mysterious black holes are to us. Right now, sure, most folks recognize black holes as these real celestial objects, but it's only been like several years since we started observing them. Talking about the info black hole swallow, we can't skip the holographic universe theory. It's not just some wild imagination. It's a complex theory with equations and scientific approaches. In a nutshell, it suggests that where we live is like a hologram reflected from a higher dimension, and the real deal is in another dimension. It's a bit different from the simulation universe, so expect a different video on that. What do you think? Are we in a simulation universe? Ever felt or witnessed something that's just too coincidental? If our universe is a simulation, are we NPCs or players? Ever looked at someone and thought, are they really a player? If you have, instead of getting jealous, maybe cheer them on, who knows? If they're a player, maybe they'll throw us a bone or something.